Not really. Uh, with with your successful surveillance, there's a lot of people who appear to be like scientists or something like that doing stuff. Well, what, what, you said they had badges on, like some other people we'd see. No, no, no badges. No badges. No, totally oh. no insignia. Like, yeah. Right, okay. So my, my thing is cutting up every now and again, so I'm not hearing a lot of the stuff. I don't no worries. Worry. Yeah, we'll just repeat it. Yeah. Okay, so no badges, dodgy covert operations. Probably dodgy, just... extremely large covert operation, 200 plus people. And quite relaxed. Uh, well, no, they're not relaxed so much as the guards are bored out of their mind because okay. you guys are, if you were walking, it'd be a day's walk out here. Mm. a full day and you had to go on a hidden path and shit like that that they brought the wagon up the horses and shit sped it up because they were not worried about oh the horses be tired they weren't worried about that they're like we're gonna get there quick so okay. uh yeah it's it's getting close to magic hour with some Ooh. stupidly smart wolves and yeah and some kids locked in cages Actually, there are no kids locked in cages. The wolves are locked in cages. Everything else is in tents, and there's no telling what could be in these large tents. These are the kind of tents that if if all the tents are full of soldiers, then there could be several hundred soldiers here. So could we? you're saying we could stealth over to these tents and maybe like take a listen to see if there's anything inside them, and then if, if it sounds clear, we could maybe just like do the old go in through the back of the tent type of thing? Possibly. If it, going much past like where the wolves are, because they got those a little bit separated out and shit, starts to put you at negative stealth things because the guards are trying to keep an eye on the perimeter and shit. Yeah. But they are, everybody is keeping away from uh, Phil's wolf idea because, uh, you know, they're animals. They smell bad. They, you know, bark at people if they get close yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go check out some wolves. No. We don't have to let them go. We just got to check them out. Then they, they start barking and they alert everyone to our presence. These, these wolves seem stupidly smart. Yeah. Either... <laughs> That's the point. If they're in cages and they're stupidly smart, they're probably not on the side of the they humans. They probably won't even bark. They'll say, hey, come over here. Look at these guys. <laughs> if they were that smart... And the guards were working with them. They wouldn't have them in cages. They'd have them helping them out. The reason they're in cages and they're that smart is probably because they're not with the guards. It's That's the deductions I'm making. Or it could be that they're super smart, but also super aggressive. <laughs> that is so a possibility. Like, we do work for the guards, but we'd kill the guards if we're happily left free. So they keep <laughs> us in cages. And we just sit here... They're all looking shifty dog eyes and yeah. <laughs> I'd rather find out a bit more what's going on here first. I want to look in the tent. In order to get to the tent, you have to go past the dogs. And you go around the dogs. You have to go closer. Oh, for the first time for everything. What do you, what do you say? Russ? I said I'm with Alex on this one. Ooh, my first time. <laughs> I get out a little pointy hat and a and a little like celebration popper and I let it go. <laughs> this is the first time anyone's agreed with Alex. Weird. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Let this be known. I do not agree with Alex. <laughs> nice. Hey. All right. So everybody's wanting to try to get in close enough to attend. I'm gonna need everybody to make it. And if one person fails it, then the group is blown. Stealth at negative thirty. I just want to stop at the dogs. I'm not going to oh. go past the dogs. Okay, then you're stealth at full. I failed my stealth at negative 30. I'm going to take one more shot at it. I'm a, I got crit. I'm ninja. You might not get found even if he is blown. And by blown, I mean he will create his own kind of distraction with guards shooting at him and yelling angrily as he runs around the field trying to high step it and screaming while being Two shot. Pause later, I'm good. Go ahead. God damn it. All right. Meanwhile, over at uh, Phil, uh, 
the wolves stop making any kind of noise when you get close and they all just kind of like move over and look at you and sit down and look at you. I wave. One of them goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And then it looks at the uh, door and it looks at you. And it looks I, at the door. I hold up my finger like give me a second. Like just just wait. I, I motion that to them. Hey, roll sign. Yeah, All right, give, me a, roll give sign. me a signaling roll. Fail that, but I'm assuming do I get any pluses cuz it's such a simple signal? Sure, I'll give you a plus 30 for that. All right, then I succeed. God damn it. I was hoping you <laughs> like. Check and sign. See? Check horror, man. Yeah. If there's a roll for it, roll it. Okay. So, right. Meanwhile, you guys have snuck over successfully. And do, do either of you have a small knife or something so you can, like, slit up uh, part of the tent? or? Is I it... do. Oh, all right. You want to slit up part of the tent because it's bound down to the ground with stakes and ropes and horrible things to keep the tents from floating away. Yeah, I'll uh, carefully slit up part of the tent so we can listen. Oh, well, listening is easy. You just yeah. hear people talking inside. Give me a listen rolls at full. You don't even have to slit the tent for that. At a quarter. I'm glad you made it. Excellent. <laughs> what Russ hears is he hears <laughs> and uh, some other guy going, all right, now we're just going to draw this creature's blood and put it into our test subject. Uh, I killed the last few, Doctor. Yes, but I'm confident that with the new mixture, we should be able to pass on the regenerative properties to our test creature. Yeah, <laughs> oh, it doesn't seem to be working. Well, shit, back to the old dry board. Ooh, and he exploded. Okay. In a low whisper, blah. Hmm. Right. Clean this up, will you? Uh, yes, sir. I think the uh, I think the wolves are the source of the. Um... I it it it, it seems like it was too easy to me, but <laughs> maybe it is. All right. Well, maybe we go and let the wolves out. And who let the wolves out? Ooh, 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 ooh. We will go and uh, uh, meet up with our other teammate. Simple <laughs> stealth roll at full to exfiltrate. I'm only asking for it at full so that Russ can try to spend more hero points. <laughs> at a quarter. God damn it. All right. You guys rejoin with uh, Phil, who's sitting there, and uh, he's... I'm drawing pictures from the walls. No problem. Uh, shows he's drawn something that has... Uh, line, 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 and then he's put two lines crossing in one, and then one of the wolves is like motioning and he's drawing a circle in the air. So, um, right, he's lost the last four games, but God, eventually he'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys ready to do my plan? Hey. Okay. Giving a card to Phil for saying, I told you so. Just... <laughs> sounds, sounds totally reasonable. Unfortunately, it looks like you're completely stymied, as none of you, to the best yeah. of my knowledge, has a lock pick. Oh, That's Logan. Right. Your lock oh, picks Logan. Blew up. Oh, Logan. Huh? Matt's how, got a solution for how that. How shit are you going to feel when I'm going to play my pick one lock card? <laughs> Bink. All right, you pick the the lock and let out the uh, wolves and stuff. Uh, I tickle the lock off. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the wolves look at each other. Uh, they they don't say anything. They when they go by you guys, each of them sniffs you, each of you, and then they continue on their way. And not long after that, you hear the distraction beginning. <laughs> It's loud and vicious, and they're screaming and all that kind of shit. Oh, you threw out a, a talisman card? Isn't that a pity? Those are It's a new thing I'm working on. Well, I, I have, don't have any checks and any skills so or any uh, stats, so the snake bite isn't really going to hurt me too much. Okay. Well, eventually you might get one and learn. <laughs> and if I snake bite that, I will regret it. <laughs> yes, that would be funny. <laughs> Because if you roll a two, it goes down by a point. So 
no worries. Uh, you guys hear a lot of screaming and yelling and uh, uh, Magitech pistol firing going zap, zap, zap. It appears, the, it appears the camp is well and truly fucking stirred up, and you are still pretty close to it. I will disappear into the forest. Ooh. <laughs> is anybody wishing to join him, or do you want to hang out and see if anybody comes by? I'm ninjaing this ship and going. Sit, I'm ninjaing going to the rendezvous point. All right, give me simple stealth and foals to go to the rendezvous point. Oh, crit. great. Russ made it again. Success. Crit stealth. Yay. Just Russ burrow into the earth and pop <laughs> up there. I don't know why I roll twice, but yeah. Yeah, that's damn good rowing. So. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going with the first one rolled in, in the event that it double taps you. So, yeah, that's a lovely roll. You guys arrive at the rendezvous point. Um, the wagon seems to have been stolen while you were gone. Bastards. They here. They came here to fuck us. Told you we should have brought some food. <laughs> <laughs> we have the crackers. Hey, I got the crackers. <laughs> I'm not going to starve because I have crackers. <laughs> crackers. So there you go. It appears that you have, uh, uh, you know, if somebody hadn't stolen the wagon and or kidnapped your 20, 30 people that were with you and shit, you'd be fine. <laughs> pretty sure they didn't kidnap them, and I'm pretty sure the wagon wasn't stolen. They decided to fuck us. Yeah. So, <laughs> what would you like to do now? Go make some friends with wolves and see if they'll let us ride them back. We should go, well, at least go in and find out what's going on. Yeah, are all there. the guards dead yet? Oh, God, no. Uh, pretty much the, the wolves did a brief attack and then fucked off because uh, there's, there's an overwhelming number of fucking heavily armed and armored guards there. It'd be suicide for even uh, that many wolves to go up against them. How far away from camp are we? Uh, far enough that you're out of it, unless you choose to go back and do something that will probably get you killed. If I drew attention, would we, like, immediately die? Immediately? No, I'd take a few rounds, but eventually, I'm confident okay. in that. I uh, have 50 guys like shooting at you. Yeah, unless unless they start shooting themselves in the head and shit, I don't know. When Logan starts rolling for ten guys at a time, you know you're really <laughs> yeah. fucked. Yeah, yeah, that's bad. Well, let's start walking back, and as soon as we're out of earshot well, of camp, I wanna well, we... unless Matt has a better idea. Well, um, if the if this place is so heavily guarded, we're not gonna have a chance of getting in. We do know where these fuckers are gonna go. We're probably going to go back to the bloody base that we went to. Yeah. So we can go yeah. and kill all of them. Take the wolves with us. They might enjoy it. The wolves have completely fucked off. We're going to track the wolves. No, I'm kidding. Ooh, that'd be fun. Show them behind the wolves. <laughs> you think they do? Yeah, I've, got, I've got tracking skills. We can do that. I do that for a living. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah. I'm tracking the wolves. Really? <laughs> oh, my God. Do, do you realize there's a whole camp full of heavily armed guards who are probably tracking the wolves as well? Mm -hmm. Hard for that man there. <laughs> are you, Success. Are Which general direction did they run off in? Oh, general direction? They went west. West. Blah. Point west. Point. Town is east. <laughs> are west, other shit is west. There's other shit in lots of directions, actually. And I get a check and tracking. Hooray! Hmm. So, so are we going to follow the wolves, or are we going to go get revenge on being left out in the middle of nowhere? Revenge. With revenge. Barrel crackers to keep you company. My I knew there was, was some dodgy about these bastards at the beginning. Right. Hmm. It shows it shows their wagon impounded and shows them all in jail. There's socks now. Okay, so you guys head back. It takes a full day of walking. You get there, foot sore and angry at night. Getting through the uh, gates of the city, you had to get all your shit peace bonded. 
Okay. Uh, I pull my gun out of the peace bonding and hand it to them. Because mine's fake peace bonded. You, so you're going to show the guards that your gun is fake peace fake bonded peace and bonded. hand it to them. Yep. <laughs> there you go. We'll just keep this. <laughs> <laughs> this must uh, be his insanity. Yeah, the confessor. Got it. They, all right, you can go on in. They just stare. They, uh, here, let's have the fake peace bonding. Too. Thank you. Thank you, good citizen. They look at you're you. Like welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> so it's a silver piece to, uh, to peace bond? Yeah. All right. Peace bound. Does Alex even have any weapons showing? No. And uh, they figure you two are like bodyguards for the drunken guy who's probably got a bottle I, of something. He, in he's hand. probably sober by now. It has been mm. like a whole day since he's had free access to booze. Oh, no, I took booze with me. It, it doesn't always, wear off? He's always got booze on him. Oh, he keeps he, drinking. He, he's, <laughs> he's a continual drinker. If he could get an IV with that shit going into him, that may happen as well. Mm. Every time he sees IV, he thinks, demon. Note, note to self, make Alex get sober one day. Mm. That might kill him. You wouldn't <laughs> like it. No problem. You guys uh, get back to the, uh, the stained glass uh, place. Uh, it appears that the building is all darkened and there's absolutely nothing of interest or value there. Bust the door down. You head what? over to the front door or the back door that you went in? The less visible one, so probably uh, the back door. Back door. I want to check for traps. Uh, I will check for traps, and I probably will not find any if they are there. Okay. Hey, who remembers the secret knock? Oh, the lady did do the secret knock, didn't she? Does anybody remember that? I tried to remember it, but I'm really bad at memory. I could try and remember it. I'll try and remember it. Thank you Correct. for stopping me. I remembered it. No problem. I remembered it. Raised. Also on the door is a fixed a small note. Out for lunch. <laughs> it, it, it says, uh, thank you so much. Uh, your money is hidden under the stone to the left. Hmm. They paid us at least. Where's my magic? Where's magic? <laughs> under the stone to the left. Um, there, there is a bag, and there's also it looks like some sort of scroll tube. Fuck yeah, my magic! I open it up. The scroll tube inside yeah. is some sort of elaborate, uh, polished, uh, varnished stick. A wand? What the fuck is this? Could it's be a fucking wand. Can I analyze magic, Logan? I wave it around. Uh, <laughs> oh, Give Jesus. me an essence roll, Jeremy, as you wave it at random. Oh, yes. fuck. I got to check an essence. <laughs> well done. No problem. A small ball of fire comes out and hits a building nearby, lighting it on fire. Oh, All right. Ball. I grab the gold and get out of here. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Gold? No, it's silver. Uh, it appears that the bag has got uh, 600 silver in it. I'm just going to tell you. Yeah. Uh, right. So, yeah, there you go. You got paid. You got a little bit of magic out of it. Uh, by the way, there's four more charges left on that. Oh. <laughs> Damage is D10 each, and it can light things on fire. One right. fireball. Which is why we're <laughs> yep, we're heading out of here. So you guys run off into the night as a building uh, across the street from the uh, stained glass factory burns merrily. Did you take? Did you write down the six hundred silver, Rock? Nope. All right. You doing it now? Go ahead. Uh, right. Let's convert it to gold and split it. Okay. Uh, six hundred does not convert easily. Six hundred is eight gold. Eight times seventy. Say. If you each give up 50 silver, then you can convert it easily. 560, so it's 8 gold, 40 silver, so 4 gold, 20 silver each. Oh, I did delete two numbers for that one. Oh, 4, just four gold, 20 silver each. Cool. 
So what, what do you guys want to do next? You are a couple blocks away from where you set the fire. Eventually you hear fire and people begin bucket chains and shit like that. Nice job, Phil. Go to a constable and confess that you just did that. <laughs> if they come say hi to me, I might. <laughs> Worse than Sandy ever. It was me. Well, I mean, it, it's it's not even, yeah, it's volunteering that's the worst part. Like, it was me. Oh, I did it. Oh, God damn it, him again. <laughs> All right, I try and lead, I try and re lead Phil to a constable. <laughs> Easier done than said. <laughs> oh, look, there's a constable. I want to go report that fire. <laughs> Actually, give, me a fire. Look, oh, give me well actually no one does show one does go by because they're going over to the fire uh, i'm just gonna stay there look look into the side unless russ pulls their attention <laughs> hurrying over to the fire there russ you gonna, you gonna distract the constable no no yeah. all right all right that was your chance dude <laughs> chance to role play so only right. has to come up once in adventure, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably well, he, already, he already did. He got his gun and his holster seized. Logan's ha if that happens every adventure, he'll be like, God damn it, I need a new gun again. I get hey officer, yeah, do you like my gun? I bought it illegally from <laughs> Dragon Don. And the guard would be like, You do not understand how this works. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, he, he'll be the first character lost to jail time. I'm thinking eventually. <laughs> so he's gonna have his own like uh, a bin for like you know confiscated weapons. You know it would be like <laughs> guns, like swords, Phil's bin. It's like <laughs> Phil Poulter's weapons bin. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll open up a shop. <laughs> Actually, previously owned by Phil Poulter's shop. There you go. Actually, it'd be the second PC that I've GM'd that got sent to jail because uh, the guy from the Star Trek thing. Yeah. Yeah, you remember him? Yeah. He was so angry. He was so angry. <laughs> so angry. Why so he uh, pods out of it? Well, because he, he went on a murderous rampage. The other PCs all made like he kidnapped them, and they all testified against him at trial <laughs> because he just went off the hook. Because yeah. he thought he was in D and D world or some shit, and then he was like, "Just tell me when my character's out of jail." And he left, and that was the last we ever saw of him. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I want to get some food. No problem. After setting fire to something and all that, you decide let's go eat. For two silver, you can get some good food. Two silver each. Boom. Good food. Somebody pay right, for it. I pay for uh, Kinley. Nice. Make him starve. Well, I think we still have that house to check well, out. That was I an think, interesting sidetrack. I think considering you normally share my part of the bonus on missions, I think you guys are doing pretty well. No, they paid you in booze this time. Yeah, yeah they paid you one, in booze, but... This one time. This but, one time. But, yeah, I, I've been making bank with you, man. You got, you can you can stick with me anytime you like. There you go. <laughs> so I meant to ask you, um, I meant to ask you, Alex, how's it going with Princess Danny? Um, good. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! That reminds me of something. I'm giving him a card for that and the card for that. Remind me. For you guys, musical interlude as soon as you're done with your current thing. Okay. Don't let me forget. It's something everybody gets. So. Okay. Cool. What are we currently doing? I was gonna say we're we eating done? food. We're 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 pretty much at an interlude point. Did we we're know? not in the prestige module, right? Not unless you do something that puts you in one. Right. <laughs> Because it's very pop. That's that's the problem. It's like, do you think what you're doing, going to do, or want to do might end up being impressive? Because if you if you're like, hey Logan, we're thinking about going and dealing with blah, would that be a prestige mod? And I'll be like, yes or no. But eating in a restaurant, generally no. <laughs> yeah. um, I was I was wondering about the house surveillance thing. Well, I see. I, I you're. I, 
there's still shit going on with this. So <clears throat> it's nighttime. They, I mean, you could say we're done and what happens next. I'm good with that. But uh, okay. Does anybody want a prestige mod card? I'm going to toss it otherwise. Nope. Check it. Prestige victory gone. We still need revenge against those people for leaving us there. They paid us, but they still ditched us in the middle of nowhere. Well, we that's not cool in my book. Ascertain where they went. Now, um, it might be obvious, but they could go. Could have gone back to the first house that we found the old lady at. Do we? I want to. There's probably clues in the stained glass door. Or, or inside this place here. You look around the restaurant. The waiter goes no, by. He goes. Would I meant you the, like refill? I meant the the place here in town. Yeah, it's a stained glass door. We all remember the secret knock. We could try knocking and see if anybody's home. Hopefully, they're done putting out the fire by now. What fire? <laughs> Why are we getting more cards? Uh, who knows? <laughs> Maybe I just enjoy fucking with you by giving you cards. <laughs> I've done that to players before. I liked it. I One guy was just sitting around spouting shit, and I kept giving him cards, and everybody else thought he is on to something. And he was just like, bah, 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 bah. and he thought he was on to something, too, because he kept getting cards. No, I was fucking with the party. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well... We got a bunch of cards for, for lying about uh, secret knocks and shit, and he got cards for revenge, and he could be fucking with us, but... <clears throat> I said we go to the stained glass place as soon as that mysterious fire that came out of nowhere goes away. Not the fire I lit at all. I wonder who said that. It was me, but, it, what, but I don't know who said it. <laughs> so, no more to drink, says <laughs> 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 been standing there this whole time. <laughs> He's like, All right then, here's your bill. I'll just be over there waiting for my tip. <laughs> the tip is you should leave us alone. <laughs> Give me an intimidate roll, Alex. Come on, be scary. <laughs> the first. The, the first was the 43, yeah? Which was uh, intimidation, mm -hmm. yes. You double rolls. Are yeah, double rolls. Are, you just always go with the first roll if he double rolls. Mm -hmm. So he fucks off to the opposite side of the restaurant and hides behind a plant to keep an eye on you guys so he knows when to bust your table. <laughs> well, I guess we can't come back here. Leave him a good tip. <laughs> <laughs> just to fuck with him. Mix signals. I like giving mix signals. I, I put thirty silver down on the table. Whoa, <laughs> dude, the food was two silver. <laughs> yeah, that's a good. I just tip. admitted to arson in front of him, and then say that a little louder, Phil. Scares no? the life of him. <laughs> he has had a rough night. <laughs> so you leave my extremely generous tip. <laughs> <laughs> and mark off money. You guys fuck off. Where to? Uh, when the hubbub and the fire dies down, uh, the stained glass shop, I think. Excellent. I just want a luck roll from Phil because guards are going around asking people if they've seen anything and stuff. They're right. not expecting a confessor to go, it was me. <laughs> I think I felt my luck roll. <laughs> they get that. That guard comes up. Did any of you see anything involved with the fire? Uh, yeah, I did. Uh, I was waving around a stick, and then, boom, fireball, and I did it. <laughs> the guard looks, looks at you guys. He blows up his whistle. Behind his back, I go, glug, 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 glug. <laughs> Give me a fast talk at negative 30 there, Alex, to make it uh, all go away. I actually yep. go, glug, glug, glug. <laughs> <laughs> No, he's he's actually drinking, Logan. Oh, yeah, I think you were trying to convince the guard. No, I, was, I was, but I didn't get my fast talk. So I okay. <laughs> no problem. My uh, other guard show up, and guard says, "Do that again." 
I was waving around the stick, then boom, fireball, and I did it. Can we see the stick, please? Um, I pull out the stick. He pulls out his hand. Make an essence roll. <laughs> uh, is, is that legit? No, I'm teasing you. <laughs> that would be pretty awesome, though, if you pull out the stick and accidentally set it off. That would be fucking funny. <laughs> All right, so I give him the stick. He looks at it and tries to figure out if he thinks it's magic or if you're a loon. <sighs> well, so did you set the fire without this stick? Nope, that stick. I went, la, 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 and then boom, fireball. They take the stick and tell you to be good, and they fuck off because obviously you're drunk. That was my stick. We I freed wolves for that down. stick. We can't burn down the town. We can't have you burn down the town thinking it's a stick. Fucking stained glass people. Screwing me out of magic. And then le or leaving us on the nowhere and then screwing me out of magic. Pretty sure you screwed yourself out of magic, dude. Nope, for blaming the stained glass people. All right. <laughs> you guys head back for him to do a different crime to confess to. So. All right. So, um... Guard's like, can you fucking believe that idiot in here? Guard's <laughs> like, everybody's wanting to get famous and put in the pillories and have be pelted with rotten fruit. Yeah, it's not like when I was a kid, it was considered a mark of shame. I don't know. Now it's on about social media. And they wander. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I lost the magic stick, guys. All right. hey, it was your stick, man. <laughs> So you guys arrive back at the stained glass place. It appears to be dark and feels uninhabited, as though nobody's actually in there anymore. Uh, I do the secret knock. Excellent. Uh, you made your memory roll earlier, so mm -hmm. you pound it out. Nobody fucking answers. All right, let's open the door. I'm assuming you're at the less seen side door near the smoking uh, uh, building. Right, just mm -hmm. what we did before. Yeah. Does it the open? door seems locked. If only you had a set of lock picks, you could probably get into it. Mm -hmm. Or uh, some beefy shoulder meat to run into it with. So you guys oh. want to pick up Alex Kinley and use his head as a battering ram? Brilliant right. idea. We are the lock pick gang. You want to go buy some lock picks? Right. <laughs> I thought Alex was going to be our lock pick. <sighs> All right, I pick up Alex. Ah, <laughs> yes. Here comes right, the strength so. roll. <laughs> Success on the strength roll. Right. Uh, they Success pick the you up, roll. Alex, and are preparing to use possibly the strongest guy that they know <laughs> as a battery room. So, uh, let's see. Uh, between Jerry, are you okay with this, Alex? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to check because, you know, you, you might just be like, hey, you know, we'll see what happens. I feel actually, fast. Actually, I'm thinking your head will fucking regenerate by the time they set you down. So it might end up being okay. <laughs> Things you can do with, with white servitors. <laughs> you can use them to hit baseballs. You can use them as a battering ram. <laughs> So uh, if you're wanting to resist, then you guys can have a strength off as you scuffle around. But uh, otherwise, uh, yeah. Don't fight it, Matt. Alex, just go with it. Just go no. with it, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, just, just for using his hard Irish head, I would give him a plus 5% onto the strength roll. And then uh, if one of you wanted to support the other, that's another plus 5%. So you could get a total of plus 10%. We're using Alex as a battering ram if he was okay with that. Okay, end of one, end of two, and a roll. He hasn't fought it yet. He, he has given us verbal disagreement, which I'm I am not listening to. Pizza, Logan, <laughs> if you want pizza, I, that's why I wasn't saying shit. I was just <laughs> like, I know what he's doing. I want food. Exactly. Did Are you make your strength you? roll, Phil? Uh. You no, I did not actually. In the door, if you want. It is. It, it is a little. It, it is a door to negative. So you have to make your strength roll about negative 
20. Alex, break the door down. We're going to use you one way or the other. Hmm. That's fair. I'll Done. give you a choice. <laughs> he, he breathes his whiskey breath on it. The door <laughs> shrivels and dies, falling off of its hinges. Ah, he says, no problem. You guys have gained access to uh, stained glass shot. All right. Within, it looks like, indeed, this is a shop used to make stained glass of all different kinds of varieties and stuff. Everybody give me a spot hidden roll. I'm assuming you're going through it, not just looking for people, but looking for interesting shit. I found Six nothing. At half. Or minus 30, whichever you prefer. Perfect. Matt, so, you going to roll? Got it. Okay. No problem. I think that's probably a negative 30 as well. Uh, you guys find uh, the most interesting thing you found is a pair of stained glass glasses that uh, have a place that you could, if you knew what you were doing, you don't know what you're doing, plug a Chris into the side, which looks like it would be super dangerous to have these glasses uh because you know as i said before it's like having a double a battery that also functions as like two m80 firecrackers okay so i i marked that down she did say something about serving the multicolored. and in addition to that you also notice that one of the carpets on the floor is a bit uh disarrayed it's like uh wrinkled like uh uh, there's wrinkles in it as though uh, it was put down very sloppily or something. Roll that sucker up. Underneath it is a hidden trap door. Apparently, uh, the carpet has like a rope thing tied to it, so you can go into a trap door and you pull the rope, and that's supposed to straighten out the carpet, but it didn't work because that uh, rolls. All right. Onward. And take the glasses. You grab the glasses, right, Rock? I got the glasses, yeah. They look super delicate, like they're ready to break at the first fucking sign of anything bad happening. I, I have the hard tube that I put the that the wand came out of. They won't quite fit. Have you ever seen like the optician glasses that are kind of big and fucked up and have a lot of lenses that come down? Mm -hmm. These are like those. Well, I carefully put them in a pocket and hope I don't have to make blow any climb rolls. Yeah, I was going to say, it just shows you fucking landing on it repeatedly. It shows the guy with the mace hitting you in the side repeatedly. It shows Alex fucking beating on you repeatedly for no good reason. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, no problem. You, you take the glasses and hope for the best. Um, <laughs> or we could, uh, we could go and put them someplace. We do maybe have the, the hotel room. Maybe the uh, maybe the Helton, the the clothing no. room in the Helton. Doesn't that get cleared out? Yeah. We have our hotel rooms. Yeah, I was gonna say you have a hotel room. Now keep in mind, your hotel rooms are not nearly as secure as a beautiful house would be, because in a beautiful house, you can have things like locks that work. You can have fucking trap set up, which will irritate the other PCs. But just imagine that lady who keeps getting you attacked at red carpet, her <laughs> discovering a fucking falling spike trap in one of the rooms. Wouldn't that make you happy? Um, no, actually, I kind of like her, but I, I did tell her to keep her shit to herself. Um, <laughs> How's that been working out for you? Oh, it doesn't. I see. I see. It doesn't work. She just brings shit down on people. Um... Yeah, I guess we go back to our hotel room and leave the glasses and then go exploring. No problem. Cut two. You're back at the trap door. You've dropped off the glasses. You've hidden them in the room. You've made them as secure as possible, hoping that they'll be there. Mm -hmm. Never know. Back at the trap door. Cool. Let's go. I go first. Oh, Russ, fumble me a luck roll. That's all I need. Just a fumbled luck roll. No. Nope. Yeah. Okay. The glasses will be there when you get back. If you fumbled, then by God, some fucking brave guy goes, these guys are killers. I heard they killed a Kraken. I'm going to steal their shit. Fuck them. <laughs> this did not happen tonight. So. Right. All right. He said he goes first. You guys head down into the sewers and such. And 
uh, within there, I'm going to need a, somebody who's good at tracking because there's a lot of different shit. I'm going to not make you figure out all that shit. I just want a tracking roll to make it all work. I do this for a living. Let me try it. Crit. Crit. Nice. No problem. He, he, it shows him down on all fours, sniffing along and shit. You guys head down the sewers. Uh, this spore here. here. I can tell it's wolf spore. I shove it in my face. Okay. <laughs> You guys track uh, through the sewers, and there's all kinds of different uh, uh, places that get missed and stuff. And eventually, you get to a big room, and it looks like it's some sort of stained glass cathedral type room. And you see uh, the kid laying on the floor, and he seems to be either dead, catatonic, something's wrong with him. Maybe he's just feeling a bit of influenza. You don't know. Some, he's not moving around, though. You're not a doctor. What the fuck do you know about this? He's laying there. And just looking at the big cathedral. Now, the cathedral itself, like, imagine half of a church. Just chop that fucker in half long way. And that's all that it, it doesn't go anywhere else. It's like, oh. And then just looking at it, you can tell that there was something in there, something big, maybe bigger than you. It's missing. Because there's like a dais thing that it was standing upon. It's gone. Hang on a second. I need to close the door. Please. Sorry. <laughs> Russ, right. he was a very different man. Honey, I love you. Shut your pie hole. <laughs> Oh, good times. So that's that's what you guys see there. Now, with his crit uh, uh, tracking roll, this is not over. Then something with very big feet, like, oh, I don't know, size 18 feet, went with a group of about 22 other people this way. You continue tracking them until you go out of the uh, sewers. You're near the edge of town, one of the many drainage things. And then he continues tracking them through the wilderness. Eventually, it's just <laughs> about pre-dawn. And you see what appears to be like 20-some cultists, and they are in a great place for an overview of the town. And... According to what you guys have seen, you've been in this place a lot. Give me San Angeles lore rolls here to know something a bit. With them is about a nine-foot-tall figure, possibly with size 18 feet, or one of the air dudes is really heavier than he looks and has super huge feet, which says a lot about him as a man, maybe. Uh, covered completely in a very big cloak. All of them are wearing cloaks like we are mysterious and evil people. By the way, did you guys do anything with the kid or just fucking step over him well you, well, you kept, you kept narrating. narrating i was going to try and heal him but you kind of ah, took over uh, what we were doing sorry i i just wanted to uh, help you move along there a little bit but yeah if you want to heal him go for it i'm going to attempt a two-point heal nope i'm going to try again and um that's, that's a fumble. fumble yeah fumble deck hooray uh did anyone bring any water with oh we got whiskey man you mind wasting some whiskey and pouring it on his face so you can do ah, Sacrilege. Pull, pull me a fumble card, Logan. Already have done it. I am just now reading it. Let's see. Bigger, bigger, bigger. Make it bigger. There it is. Okay. Uh, right. Throw away your held items. Anything you were holding gets thrown. If there's a bad guy close, you throw all your stuff at their feet. If there's no hostiles around, you chuck your gear, all your gear, 10 meters in whatever direction amuses GM most. Maybe off the cliff into that lava. It's a good time to build up your unarmed combat skill. So I don't think you can have anything in your hand. So you go. <laughs> yeah, okay, that works. Yeah, like I said, a lot of these are not all that serious. And now I'm going to try first aid. First aid to diagnose his condition or just bring him around? Uh, diagnose. Roll. Success. 
he is uh, catatonic right now. He has suffered a major shock. Uh, he needs breathing? to. What? Is he breathing? Does he have a pulse? Is his pulse uh, normal or slow? Super slow. He is breathing. Also super slow. You're thinking bed rest to see if he gets better. Possibly leeches. <laughs> or modern medicine if you want to be all pansy about it. Blah. Anybody got any medical skills? Alex pulls out leeches. <laughs> uh, no. My first aid is shitty. All right. I'm going to make him comfortable. I right, can try. There's a limit to his comfort. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try something, see if he was poisoned. I'm going to try and cure poison on him. Hmm. And I fail. Excellent. I'll do it again. And I succeed. Hey. Was he poisoned? I, apparently not. He's still laying there, but if he was poisoned, he's not anymore. Okay. Do I get a check for it or no? Of course. Okay. Okay. Now, since we can't do anything with the guy, we go and we hang out with the 20 cultists. Yep. So you leave the kid in the sewers by making him comfortable. You... Well, Logan, do we lose the ability to track them if we take him someplace safe? And safe? Yeah, probably. But, I mean, you could at least get him out of the sewers and set him close to the exit or something. It might be more comfortable than the sewers. Then All again, right. a dog could come and fucking eat his face you just don't know yeah i get him out of the, the temple area whatever this thing is and try and put him someplace safe and let's not forget about him got two shows you guys in the bar well that, was, that went super well i feel like there's something we're forgetting though <laughs> just <laughs> biting some kid's face <laughs> i'm making a giant capital underlined exclamation point note and hopefully that will be enough just dog humping the kids' corpse. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, all right. So now cut to the cultists. Cut to right. So they're on the hill over there. You guys are probably like a hundred meters. You're no, you're about a football field away. So that'd be about a fifty meters. No, hundred meters. I would It's about hundred meters. About a hundred meters away in some bushes looking at them and uh, one of them is is talking to the others the big the big fella is not saying anything and the one is saying upon the rays of the dawn we shall show the truth to the town and the truth shall set them free and there guy goes and make them friend he's like quiet zaka they shall see what is really there they shall know what is really there and they shall blossom into the fire of the gods it sounded all good until he said blossom into fire yeah well you know everybody has their own stuff so he continues nattering on about that sort of thing <laughs> Do we sneak up closer, guys? Do we ruin their prayer circle? Or wait and see what happens either way. It's yeah. fun. Alex is drinking something. Mm. He appears to have gone into his own kind of catatonic. Are, are you done ordering pizza yet? No, no. It's f fucking annoying. Oh. <laughs> if it some reason, we can't log in. <laughs> Can't, can't log in, so I'm having to go in via a guest fucking app thing, which is stupid. Oh my god. Uh, just, yeah, just play without me for a bit. I, I gave up say, on Pizza Hut for that exact reason. They couldn't remember so my login information. Stupid. Uh, I say we still fuck closer. Let's go. Dun, 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 dun. Success. Are you just going to hang out back? If you, if you make normal successes... You're going to be ending up about 20 meters away. If you make success at half, then you'll be probably uh, uh, about 10 meters away. If you make a crit, you'll be behind them. And go, <laughs> like right behind them. 
Okay, I'm well, mine was, away. mine was a success at half, so I'm 10 meters away from them. Mm -hmm. Matt, you want to roll yours? Or are you just out? Mm. He can stand back and just observe you guys. He made it. All right, he's 20 meters away. I know his stealth's not 109 yet. So <laughs> by the time you've snuck up there, the uh, large because it takes a while. It's not stealth is not fast. The large figure has had its uh, uh, cloak removed, and it appears to be some sort of golem made entirely of stained glass, different colors. And it stands there, and the the uh, the robed figures separate to make sure that they are not between it and where the sun is beginning to rise. And you can see the first rays of the sun coming and they strike upon this and they go through it toward the town. And yeah, it's really pretty. <laughs> All right. Uh, I fire up my silence pistol. You know, they're going to hear that at this range. Even the silence like pistol? Uh, as soon as you start firing it, they'll hear zap, zap, as opposed to zap, zap. It's okay. not completely silent. Yeah, okay. Um, you can still charge it up, though. Uh, yeah, I charge it up. I think we need to... Oh, I can't talk to anybody. Um, hey, guys, you're 10 meters away. What do you think about this? Eh? <laughs> uh? All right, so uh, you're the closest one, Russ. The other two are 20 meters away, and you begin your second dramatic combat <clears throat> against 20 people. <sighs> Alex will be drinking until he is ready to assist you. <laughs> he looks unhappy with Papa John's. Uh, I don't think we're getting Papa John's because I can't log in. Mm. The racism is preventing the login. Papa John's <laughs> has too much racism. Okay, okay. what's the uh, what's the initiative? Right. Well, I was giving Matt a, a quick chance, but okay. Villains are first. Attack is approved. They do their thing. They all go. They begin to sing some sort of weird ul ululating song. Okay. The uh, big, huge um, uh, glass golem stands there. I shoot the fucking glass golem. Oh. Why are you I do not that? want to find out what this thing does. He's just making pretty lights everywhere. Yeah. You want to cut? You want an attack roll? Oh yeah, uh, you're at a plus three to hit him because okay, good. <laughs> I was gonna say he's not moving. He's really big and he's just standing there. Nineteen points of damage. God damn! Hold on, let me look up his fucking hit points because that's really quite a lot. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Right. Did you just one shot him? <laughs> There's an explosion as the uh, uh, golem shatters into lots and lots of pieces. <laughs> this causes the song to stop, and everybody looks at where where he was standing. I run, but that's next round. <laughs> next round. <laughs> Villains are first. Heroes are second. They all look around to see what in the fuck. Saying, who's your daddy this round is approved. They look around to try to uh, figure out their beard. What's going on? What? what did it, did it, did it, did it, it didn't work. Why did it explode? Exactly. <laughs> they, they're freaking the fuck out. Okay. Uh, so, uh, hero's turn. Uh, we'll start with Jeremy. Who's your daddy, motherfuckers? <laughs> Oh, right, Jesus. the the bad guys were thinking that maybe they fucked it up, but as soon as they hear that, then they know it wasn't them, and there's people who need killing. So uh, Matt hangs out. Russ, what do you do? I sneak away and let them kill Jeremy. 
That's fair. <laughs> All right, so give me a stealth roll at negative 30 because now they are looking for people to kill close by. Right, I'm going to try, try pausing that. Absolutely. Follow I'm going to try pausing that again. <laughs> It shows two bushes and you're tiptoeing between them. They're like, ah. All right, I fail my stealth roll. Are you sure you want to stick with that? Because that means some of them will attack you and some of them will attack Jeremy as opposed to all of them. Yeah, I'm going to have to stick with that because I don't want to blow all my paws on you stealth like rolls. All your paws. Okay, no problem. It just shows Alex in the background thinking deep thoughts, drinking, probably in a ninja outfit.